It's funny because why is that doing that? Oh, about some jigs reviews. So we're doing some rum today. Uh, this was kindly given to me as a birthday present from my boy Angelo. You know, Angelo's been on the videos before, normally doing rum. And it's about time he come on again, to be honest. We were talking about that, and funnily enough, he got me this. So I had seen these on Amazon. Um, it was my birthday, they were Friday, Tuesday, but we all, <coughs> me and the lads all went out on a Friday, which Miss Jigs organised, and um, Literally the day before I'd sourced numbers and put it in my wishlist basket. Lo and behold, Angelo picked it up. So I don't know if he's been logged into mine and snooping through, but yeah. Either way, we're here. So I mean, this is a cool, cool bottle. Nice skull design with some waxy top. This is made by Rum Bastard. Um, the A's of a isn't at. I have looked at these online, but I couldn't, as in like Instagram and stuff, but I couldn't find them. There's, there's a couple of Rum Bastard profiles but they're not these so um yeah i don't know i don't know where they are but uh this one in particular you probably can't see from there but i will go in a closer one. and this is ghost naga chili flavor so this is caribbean spice rum with chili and hopefully you might be able to see it there but there is a reflection of the foam but never mind there is a chili in there if you can see it so uh when this video is over i'll um not the video when this bottle's over i'll uh come back and have a little chili in as well so yeah uh percentage wise it's quite low it's only 20 percent um kind of a novelty novelty rum but i'm excited let's get into it so yeah i'll uh probably need to cut this off somewhere two thousand years later We're in. I ain't gonna mess around with that anymore. So yes, here we are. Let's pour it up. Also just had that chili in there, it's giving it a bit of a, a bit of a cloudy sort of look to it. Let's just start having a little drink. It's got some good spice. I don't mean spices in heat spice, I mean in like bacon spices nose to it. It's got a bit of a peppery smell as well. And pepper. <laughs> I'm not really doing very well, am I? Pepper as in black pepper. Pepper sprinkled on your on your food. Slight smoke there. Bit of a um how would I say um Bit of chocolatey smoke going on. There's also a bit of a cola nose to it as well, actually. It sounds a bit like cola. All right, it does smell quite nice. Hmm. It has got a real cola sweets kind of smell to it. Nice, right, have a sip. See if it's got any spice to it too. Mm. Wow, that has got some real spice to it. Hit the sides and the my tongue, back of the throat instantly with um, heat. But it's weird, it's not the same sort of heat you get when you have um, chilies. It's more of a, um, it's more of a sweet heat. Yeah, really interesting. That is, I know it's gimmicky and all that, but it goes quite well to be fair. It's got a real, real brown sugar. I'm getting that cola taste in it as well. It's got a real brown sugary taste to it. But just for you try and get enough of the sort of like actual flavors in it, the heat kicks in, the spice kicks in, takes over, and then all you can t all you can like deal with is the heat. That is, as far as a hot, hot spicy drink goes. I am quite surprised at how spicy that's hit actually. I am getting slight fireball sort of feelings with this as, as expected. I know that's a 
a whiskey liqueur, but this is rum, but it's made way onto the lips. It's definitely got a lot of spice going on there, actually. If you're drinking this, you don't want to be following up with anything because, because of the spice in it, it's going to take away flavour and everything from whatever else you're drinking or eating. So it's not, if you're drinking this, make this the last drink you have or whatever if you're just having a one-off because it, it will you know you're not going to enjoy a good whiskey after this because that is going to totally take away from your take away from your palate what you can taste mm. i'm getting like real sugary caramel colory kind of notes this it almost tastes like when you have a rum and coke spice rum and coke to be more exact you get this kind of taste, and that's doing that without any coconut to be fair, so it's a good little good little combo kind of drink. Hmm. If you like your spice, I would say this is, after a drink, this is quite high on a spice level. If you've got a very low spice tolerance, you're not gonna enjoy this. This will probably be too hot for you. Um, Cause it's got a heat that's hotter than a lot of standard hot sauces. So if you're not a hot sauce person, then, you're not gonna be able to stand, you're not gonna be able to handle this, I don't think. But yeah, mm. I quite like that. I'll have to get Angelo around to give it a go and have a little try himself. So uh, hopefully you'll watch this video and that's a little call out to you. One, you need to try this, and two, you need to come and do a rum video with me. It's been too long. You might have to bring some of your own rums because I think I'm all out of rums to, to uh, sample and try on video, so. I have to bring some of yours. I know you've got a few in that collection of yours. So yeah, I'll leave that there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on another Jigs Reviews. Rum Bassett, they do other bottles as well. I think they've got like a chocolatey rum and like a salted caramel or something. So um, if they've got much flavour going on as this has, they're definitely worth a try as well. And obviously they're already in my wish list, so I shall get them at some time. Nice one. See you next time.